Hello and welcome to my homestead. Today is October 28th. We're in the middle of the fall now. It should be really cold, but it has been very warm temperatures. After one cold spell, um, a few freezing temperatures at night, it warmed up again. You can see the trees started turning their colors, but you wouldn't be able to tell that looking at my flowers. This rose bush is in full bloom. This is the fourth time it's blooming. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's not the only one yeah. here. So let me walk you around and show you some of the flowers that are still in full bloom. The biggest contributors for the bees are these flowers. I've shown you these before. They're teeny tiny. You can see how small they are. But there are millions of them here everywhere. You can see just about everything stopped growing. So let's walk around and see what else is blooming. So right next to these, this is my ginger. Very unusual to see a ginger fruit blooming, but it's almost done. It's getting too cold for it, but it's just setting blooms. So let's walk on. See, this rose is almost done blooming for this bloom, but there are a couple more that are getting ready. Definitely late bloomers. This is the Gabriel Oak. Next to it is another one that's just getting ready to bloom. As well as these beauties. There are multiple buds. You can see they're just getting ready to bloom. This is an heirloom. Heirloom rose. Hybrid tea. It was dark purple earlier in the year, but now it's just red. So let's walk over, see what else is blooming. Over here, you can see just about everything is dying off. I have a few remnants of these dandel daffodil, sorry not daffodils, um, dahlias. Next to them is one rose. This is the peace rose. It's the first time is she's gonna bloom. So I'm excited to see what color she's gonna be. And I hope it will be before the, the frost heads. As you can see there are quite a few dahlias that came back to life after the frost. Look at this beauty. This is another piece rose. Ch China tea. Some more dahlias here. They're almost done. This rose just finished blooming, but on the other side, the rose is still growing. And there is a rose over there that's just starting to open, but it's teeny tiny. Some more dollies on this side. You see, they're almost done. It is after all October. Plus my my chickens have really really enjoyed them as a snack. But look at the size of these. Huge. Alright, let's walk inside my garden into the backyard. Before we go inside, let me show you these zinnias. 
absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic colors. There are quite a few of them still in bud. They're just, uh, just opening up. And some of them are already finishing. But you can see how many buds are still getting ready to open. Over there, there is Camille de Pisano, so let's take a look at it closer. There we are. This is Camille de Pisano, probably, probably one of the most colorful roses. This is a, a hybrid tea rose. Look at those colors. Stunning. As you can see, the Japanese beetles ate it almost to nothing, so I hope it will recover and survive the winter. One of the things I was not expecting still to be blooming is my tomato plant, but it is still blooming. It's loaded in tomatoes everywhere. I'm definitely happy with this plant. And next to it, there is a rose here. Also getting ready to bloom again. This is Thomas Becker. Again, it's strange to see in the middle of the fall with all the leaves falling, roses that are still in bloom. But they continue blooming. Here we are with my potted selection. It is another tomato plant. Still in full bloom, still producing. This was transplanted, it broke off a branch uh, in the windstorm, so I transplanted it and it's growing really well and I'm going to move it inside for the winter so it, continue, it can continue growing through the winter. Now these are the roses my sister just gave me to transplant. This is Mr. Lincoln. Look at the vibrant colors. Gorgeous. It's a little bit up by frost. Like I said, we've had a few days of frost at night, but it's still growing. These are the climbing roses that already stopped blooming. You can see it's setting up buds for winter. And it has beautiful canes. Very long. So hopefully next year it will climb and cover the entire trellis. I will actually transplant the, this one to another location and have all of the roses together. But you can see was that when everything is dead, these flowers are the last food resource for the bees and they really love it. So on this note, one last look at my plants. I'm going to start cleaning out my garden, pull out all of these tomatoes and all of the flowers that are blooming right now will die in a few days when the frost hits again and I'll prepare for the winter garden. On this note, thank you for joining me and until next time.